Hello everyone. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be a reading if you are in separation or having little to no communication, wondering what's going on, what's happening in this time of silence, in this time of healing, um, in this time where we are forced to, you know, stay in our own environments and not travel as much, you know, what's really going on during this time of separation. And I just noticed that this candle is not lit, so let's light it. So light that inner flame. Well, hopefully that will stay. It is an apple cinnamon candle. I know you can't smell it, but maybe you can imagine that it smells. And this is like a chestnut, you know, that real rich, earthy healing coming to you. Okay, let's just get started. Take what resonates with you as always. You know, leave the rest. If it doesn't sound like it's you or it doesn't sound like it's your person, it's not. You know, it's okay if it doesn't sound like your situation, but sometimes we don't really know. I mean, I'm just as curious as you are. <laughs> so let's dive in. Okay, the first question that we're going to ask, the first theme of this in separation, no communication reading, is going to be um, shadows, blocks, outer world influences, anything that's holding the communication back. What's holding your person back from communicating? What's holding you back from communicating? Because you can look at it that way too. You know, See if there's anything within you. Let's see. What's the main theme here? Wow, this is so interesting, you guys. Because before I did this reading, and it's her last day in the light. I know it's a little bright, and it's a 10. So that's endings. And it says, unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. Her last day in the light. I was looking at this deck and I was playing with the lighting to make sure you guys could at least see that over there. And this was the card that was on top. And you just saw me shuffle and go through. So this was the card that is really important right now for the general collective. There are end endings happening, shocks, shifts, all of the things that are happening in the world to clear everything away, surprises. Like you may be surprised by the shift in your person. What I feel from this, her last day in the light, I feel like your person, you, being transformed in the light. Take it as it resonates. Last day in the life as you know it. Last day in the life of ignoring things and not taking care of things and not facing things and not facing your truth. And not speaking your truth. That's that's what I'm feeling. That's the shift. It's like there has to be communication. Look at all those birds. There's like three birds on her. That's communication. So there's going to be some kind of surprise changes and sudden shift. But that could be the block, right? Is not seeing the light. Trying to fight against the change. Trying to fight against the tower. And I don't really believe that they're going to be able to. It's like... You can't fight it anymore. You can't fight the change. You can't fight what's happening, that things are shifting. And so instead of fighting it, go with it. Follow the light. Something about communication. But let's see what these blocks and challenges in outer world. Like I do feel like breakups, shakeups, job endings, like things like that are, are really forcing people to go within and ask themselves what they really want. Like what do they really want now? because things are changing. But let's get some clarification here. No communication, separation, blocks, challenges. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ten of Wands comes out right away. That's a lot of burdens, you guys. That's a lot of burdens. So someone in this situation is feeling very burdened by life. Another ten. So that's ten, ten. Karmic cycles ending. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some kind of collaboration, third-party situation, perhaps they're married or in a long-term relationship, or you are, but it's wanting to drop the burdens. It's, it, it's necessary now. The burdens are too strong. It's just um, collaborations that didn't work out. It could be business-related, pentacle energy, right? It could be the loss of a job, the loss of a business partnership, an idea, creative project, a business moving forward because of this time, and it's really burdensome. So finances could be very burdensome right now. It also can be, you know, relationships. Very, it could be a lot of things. <laughs> you guys, you saw that, right? 
I said relationships, and, and we will never knock the Queen of Wands because we love the Queen of Wands in alignment, in the light. But what I feel like is, is there's a divine feminine. And, you know, you if you've listened to any of the channelings, the divine masculine channelings and the twin flame channelings, I mean, this is the energy that I'm feeling. And it doesn't have to be a fire sign. Let's leave that out of it because that's not really fair because there's beautiful fire signs. You know what I mean? Fire is a beautiful energy. But in distortion, this queen is manipulative, playing mind games, emotional mind games, uh, just really toxic, not living in the light living in the darkness, living in the shadows, living in the fear. And it's really burdensome for this female. First and foremost, the this um, feminine, we won't say female, but I feel female. It's really toxic for this feminine as well. It's, it's bad. It's like a battle in your head and being chained to the past and focused on the anger and what didn't work out and the burdens. And it's all this toxic energy, all these fears being built up and ready. Your head's ready to explode. I feel like the feminine's head is ready to explode. And I'm not saying it's anybody's fault or anything. This could be the feminine being really hurt. And so in this distorted energy, it's really hard to see the truth. It's really hard to see clearly if you have a feminine in distortion, either it's you or it's the, someone in your masculine's life. That's tough. It's tough energy harsh 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 energy so in the outer world there is a feminine energy in your person's outer world could be you <laughs> hopefully not but this feminine needs to be brought to the light cannot live here anymore in this energy because it's just not working it's too burdensome so the masculine in the situation if they are in a marriage or some kind of dynamic where they're attached to this feminine they're wanting to release it this is not a collaboration that they want but it's a collaboration that they're stuck in for some reason that they're uh you know obligated to let's see what else what else comes out you know, there's a major block for the masculine being able to communicate their love. There's a block for the masculine to even be in touch with with um, his or her emotions. The masculine in this situation, let's just say man and woman because it's easier, is having a difficult time connecting to his heart. Trying to find the balance, not speaking, being silent about this love, about what they want and not getting what they love, not living in the energy of love. There's like no... The love here is gone. You see that? It's like it's gone. It's like I don't feel it. I don't feel it either. So I'm going to close off to this love and I'm just going to be nasty. I mean, that's I just feel like nastiness. Yeah, it's it's a big time. The blocks of your of this person, of someone in this situation is being stuck in the illusions. Too many options. Perhaps there's a lot of different females or a lot of different ways they can go or being stuck in this illusion, I feel like, for a long time. Seven years. More than seven years. It's been a long time. Perhaps the distance has been almost seven years or, you know, seven months. It could be with cups, but I feel it's longer than that. But it's been a while. That this has been like this. It's kind of stale, right? Third party situations, definitely a block. It doesn't have to be a wife or a significant other or a husband or whatever. It could be a mother. It could be an important female figure. It could even be, an, and I've never felt this before, but because the knave of cups is here, it could even be an, an, a daughter that's getting in the way. That like is trying to block this for whatever reason, trying to block the re there's somebody blocking. There's a third party trying to block this person from moving forward and ending these cycles. But there's a sudden shift that I feel like is going to shift everything. Yeah, here it is. Here, okay. First of all, we have a battle, right? The Seven of Wands. This is toxic energy. This is a battle. This is a spiritual battle, a physical battle, an emotional battle. It's just a freaking battle. But whenever I see this card, I feel like your person ready to leave the battle, wanting to leave the battle with this feminine. I don't want to be in this battle anymore. I'm taking this opportunity. And this is communication, being clear about what you want, being clear about love. So I feel that the masculine in this situation is getting clear about love, what they love, who they love, who they don't love. And, and, and wanting, really wanting to come out of the illusion, but it's easy to get stuck there, you guys. It's easy for people to attach to fear. Think about the, what the, in the world, what's happening right now. People are so incredibly 
overwhelmed with fear and it's a false reality you guys it's a false reality love is the answer and that's what you know I feel like both parties are starting to realize like there's no love here why do I keep battling with this why do I keep allowing myself to be stuck in this illusion like I it's like I don't want to be stuck here anymore oh my god you guys yeah this is trapping, you know, keeping yourself trapped, trapped in fear. What did I say? The fears. This is what's holding back. This is the outer world, inner world, like blocks, challenges, is they are stuck in fear. They are stuck in the battle. They're stuck in the illusion. They have a ton of burdens. Someone has a ton of burdens on their back. And it's a collaboration that's not really working out. But the universe is really working to, like, you know, shift things and this is that shift the ace of swords like it's time it's time to end this it's time to end this toxic energy so there's some kind of communication yeah this person juggles back and forth that's the problem should i stay should i go i feel obligated i have kids i have house i have car i have all these things all this money tied up with this business partner, this part, partner, this family, you know, member, this wife, this whatever, or this husband. It could go vice versa. It could be the female, you know, in the situation, the feminine saying, I'm not taking this crap anymore. I'm so sick of this energy. I'm so sick of being in this energy. I'm sick of being in my head. I'm sick of fighting. I'm sick of the burdens. I feel like both parties are tired of it. And that, but it's this juggle. What happens if I go? What happens if I stay? And it's just allowing themselves to stay suspended. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, you guys, it's not. It, the, the underlying energy of this union, of this separation, no communication, is toxicity, deception, deceiving themselves, being deceptive, manipulating mind games is what I felt, discontentment, boredom, really, really, truly wanting to leave the past behind because they want more. I feel it's both parties. I don't feel like it's just one-sided. I feel like it's both. So there is truth and clarity coming in from the universe, whether they want to see it or not. See, look, now you can see this is what the universe is saying. I don't care if you don't want to see it. I don't care if it blinds you for a moment, but you are going to see the light in this situation, and we're going to make sure that you do. So this is that tower, right? being forced to see the truth. So your person, you, being forced to see the truth in this situation finally, in the current circumstances, in the current separation, the fears, you know, not wanting to, not wanting to be authentic with themselves either, lying to themselves, deceiving themselves, self-destruction, Right, keeping themselves trapped, but the universe is coming in and saying, "I'm sorry, you can't. You're not. We're gonna make you look at this." Like you, I feel, a lot of people are being forced to look at things like in a different way now. But there is a desire to leave the past behind, like a big desire. But it is toxic, and I will tell you right now, you do not want to be a part of this. You want your person to work this out before they even come forward, because if they come forward right now, it is not going to be good. There is too much going on, so it's shining your light and sending that unconditional love and living your life anyways and moving forward because it's time for new beginnings. No matter what this person decides, there's new beginnings being offered, new new beginnings in the way that you communicate, a shift, but it's free will. Everybody has free will, so we have to remember that. And right now, these two parties are tight-lipped, is what I hear. There is absolutely zero communication. <laughs> And that could be you. You could be the queen or you could be the king. And you're like, yeah, it is. That is the way it is. So until you can release negativity and fear from you, your person will not do it. It's your mirrors. So when you release and you heal, you give them opportunity, right? And you keep living your best life. You keep shining your light. You speak your truth. You set your healthy boundaries because you are going to be blessed if you're doing the work. Like, so keep going. Keep following the light is what I'm hearing with this. Be the leader. The next um, question is inner world, head space, and heart space. Like what's going on with them? Like what's happening? If you could dive in for highest and best 
you know, into their inner world? What are they thinking about? What's in their heart space? Sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. Yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, protecting themselves, protecting their heart. They're very protective right now. But 38 is new beginnings. They're being protected by spirit as they move forward. The sacred beetle, right? Moving forward into new life. That's a spirit guide. Moving them forward into these new beginnings. They're being protected through the changes. You're being protected through the changes. But they're pretty guarded right now, is what I'm feeling. Pretty guarded with their heart. Pretty guarded with their, their feelings. Working on... Um, victim mindset, uh, the worthiness, self-esteem, um, you know, they've been hurt. This has been quite a battle. And so they're very protective of themselves right now and protecting their, their family, their children, what they have, their assets, right? So let's see with the steampunk tarot more information on that inner world headspace and heart space please what are they thinking about what's in their heart well they're thinking about justice okay they want justice and to overcome this toxic energy right they're trying to they're working their way out of the ego battling it they want justice they're working to find balance and look they are because this is leaving the battle they're putting the putting the swords away like I don't want to do this anymore I'm done but it's it's intense codependencies addictions negative thinking toxic relationships toxic family environments toxic friendships drama BS that's all of this this is those fears look how big some this is how some people this is how your person is viewing this right now it's a monster coming to get them but they want to get out of it they're so sick of this energy and look it's both parties like I'm tired of this I don't want to do this anymore we got to just put down the swords and find balance here. Let's go to court and get this all situated. Let the cards fall where they may fall because I'm just over it. That's, that's what I'm feeling the most here. And with just having the Libra full moon and sort of, you know, the, you know, that propelled, releasing, propelled, bringing the scales into balance. So things are coming into balance in their headspace, but it's it's been a battle but they are finding the balance i mean you can see they're working on it they they want it and they're protecting themselves during this time and what i'm hearing is they're protecting you because of the energy i just felt you do not want to be a part of this and they don't want you to be a part of this they do not want you to be a part of this toxicity it has nothing to do with you it's all about them it's all about their ego it's all about fears and insecurities and programs from when they were a child that they're working to overcome and that's a big deal but they are working to bring their headspace into balance look i mean they're doing it and they have to be protective right now because if they if they were to communicate right now or open up right now, they don't want you to be a part of this toxic world because they know you don't deserve to be a part of that toxic world. And asking you to let go of any toxicity and bring yourself into balance so that, you know, the communication um, is open and receptive. What else is going on? Hidden. Ooh, that's way too chunky, but this one. Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're looking forward. They're like, okay, I know I've got this. I'm working on this, right? I, I have foresight. I'm trusting my instincts, trusting my intuition. Like, I'm, I know I'm moving in the right direction and moving out of this and cutting away what's not serving me. This is strength and stamina to go the distance. So they're, they're, they're focused on moving forward. You see that? Forward movement. Like, I want out of the other energy, I want forward movement. Where are they at in their heart space? emotionally what are they feeling king of wands well in their heart space wow we got the let's just see what came out we got the king of wands right ready baby i'm ready i'm ready for you to take your seat and look and then we have the feminine yeah the masculine 
This is the Queen of Pentacles. The masculine is ready in his heart space for his true divine feminine, his queen, the empress, realized in the physical, the queen of pentacles, abundance, creation, life. So in their heart space, feeling very passionate, feeling very grounded and very abundant in the heart space. Yeah, taking charge. I'm taking charge. Like, I'm not going to let anybody else tell me how to feel or what I'm doing. I'm taking charge. I've got this clarity. There it is. There's that Ace of Swords. I'm going to take the Ace of Swords and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this. How am I going to communicate? How am I going to bring this union, this sacred union into balance again? How, how, what am I going to say to my queen? So still like kind of in contemplation, like thinking about it, right? Taking the, taking the sword, taking the new beginning and contemplating. What am I going to say? And all the while, the feminine is like, I'm right here. I know my worth. I'm living my best life. And you're just in the feminine. You're attracting the fat masculine by being in that energy. I'm Seriously, it works. Not allowing fear to overcome you. Knowing that love is the answer. Love is the truth. All that is meant for you. All the abundance. All the love. All the money. All the opportunities are just going to come to you because you're allowing yourself to receive it. The hermit. Yeah, there's healing. So they're healing their heart space, but they're ready to come out. I feel like they're healing and they're getting ready to come out. They're finding that peace. They're finding that inner light connecting to the higher part of them so they can make better decisions. So they, they're healing. Going within, by themselves, you know, contemplating, oh, trying to really work to overcome these energies and bring things into balance. Coming up with some kind of action plan to get things situated. but they are shielding themselves and protecting themselves and protecting you because they know that they have to heal. I mean, they really do have to heal at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, wow, wait till you see this. Look at the cards on the bottom of the deck. Like they want the forward movement. They're working on the balance to come out of this. The union is strong, but the wounds are deep. You see that? The wounds on the masculine are deep. And Divine Feminine, you help heal the masculine. This is Twin Flame Soulmate Recognition, Infinite Intelligence working with you to help manifest this forward movement. So they're wanting forward movement. They're looking for the balance. See, we got the scales and then we get the chariot, which is balance. So they're working to find the balance with their head and their heart space, relying on their spiritual strength, relying on their inner strength, looking to the feminine's energy, the Divine Feminine light to help them heal. I mean, really, truly, that is how it is. That's always how it is. The masculine looks to the feminine for healing because the feminine is the healer, right? Is the queen, compassionate, loving, generous, kind. And when you shine that unconditional loving light out, it helps the masculine heal. Healer, Virgo, Virgo energy again. I don't read a lot of signs. Obviously, this could be anyone. It doesn't have to be Virgo. But because the Hermit is here and because the Queen of Pentacles is here, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you are a Virgo or something about the Virgo full moon because things shifted in the Virgo full moon. And then now we're, we had, had the Libra full moon, so things are coming into balance finally. That's what I'm feeling, like overcoming this heartache and pain. Look overcoming the pain of past love healing the lovers is healing this is the underlying energy things are being healed and restored and blessed this is a deep deep wound that the masculine has heart wounds that they're working to heal they want to heal the union they're connecting to love again Figuring out a plan. Okay, so that's what's happening right now while they're protecting their healing. They have to. And they're being almost being forced to. What they were ignoring before, they can't ignore anymore. And they're working on right under that is the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, and then there's that Four of Cups. Like, I'm sick of being bored. I want to move forward. I want to move forward into calmer waters. And I'm finding my independence. So they're working to find their independence. And then there's a Ten of Cups right under that. So that's what they're really after. In, you know, in the long term, they're after the Ten of Cups. But there's work to be done and there's healing 
you know, for these new beginnings. Okay, this is going to be advice for you right now. Who's ever listening to this? Advice for you. Where does spirit want you to focus during this time? Where is your best efforts going to be made for you, for your life? Faceless ghosts and the haunted girl, ghost people, taking off the mask, being discerning who you let in, 34 is a 7, learning your spiritual lessons, letting go of dishonest associations, people that aren't serving you, sucking the life out of you, not revealing their true self, taking, you know, stealing your ideas, your identity, haunting you the past, like let, finally letting go of that. Something about facing the past, <clears throat> the ghosts of the past, the energetic cords that need to be cut, that need to be let go of. It's part of your spiritual growth to move on. Letting go of associations, friendships, relationships that aren't serving you to allow higher vibrational unions to come in. But let's see what the supporting energy is for you, advice for you at this time where your focus, where spirit would like you to focus. This is you coming into your own, realizing how powerful you are. Wow. And the strength card comes out again. So seeing the beauty in all the lessons, seeing the beauty in the pain, in the contrast, in the challenges, the beautiful, beautiful masculine sun and this fiery Leo energy is coming through, balancing the ego. Balancing the head and the heart. Third eye awakening. Appreciating what you have. Appreciating the beauty all around you. You're stronger than you realize. You can get through anything. And to me, this signifies too for you that focus on the masculine healing. Because see, this this is a healed masculine. This is about, remember we saw the lion with the, with the hurt paw? Now the masculine is healed. Like, oh, I'm healed now. I'm stepping into my power. I feel confident and strong. And I want to bring this rose to you and offer you and be romantic and offer you this new beginning. This is the seven of wands. This is beautiful. Spirit wants you to focus on leaving the battle. This is all about learning your spiritual lessons, you guys. Everything that, ha nothing is by chance. Everything that happens or doesn't happen, this no contact, no communication is, is helping you. The universe is doing you a solid by keeping you away from that battle. And this is their universe reminding you, don't join in the battle. Keep your light. Keep your inner light bright shine it leave the battle be the guiding light level up spiritually focus on the lessons and the knowledge and the wisdom yeah trust your intuition things are being unlocked your intuition is on point trust it get to know yourself get to know your own energies but look we have a tiger and a lion coming out that's a lot of fierce powerful strong energy coming through for you so things that were secret before are going to be revealed in the light you're moving towards stability money good health safety security could be father figure in your life helping you move forward or this can be the father of your children you know or you know that you're thinking of you know perhaps you're the masculine but we did get the queen of pentacles in the earlier reading so this is bringing your stability in balancing everything so focusing on your abundance focusing on what you do have and being open and receptive to love. This is the Queen of Cups. This is your intuition, again, being highlighted. Pay attention to the way that you feel. Connect to your emotions. Let go of energy and people and situations and belief systems and toxicities that aren't serving you. Fill your own cup. Light that fire. Light that flame. Trust your intuition because it is on point and on fire right now. 
Open yourself up to this great love. Open yourself up to a new life, to loving your life in abundance. And see, to me, this is the, the feminine, the divine feminine being open to this opportunity with this masculine. See that? Look, arms like, I want you. I'm, yes. You know, you can just kind of feel the energy. So what's coming in is abundance, good business partner, a good husband, that kind of an energy, someone you can trust, someone that's stable, a good father figure. That's what's coming in when you leave the battle of the past. Yeah, celebration. Happiness, joy, parties, get out there when, when we can, right? When, when things open up, it's getting out there, getting out in nature. Birds. Remember at the beginning, the three birds? Well, there's something about three, and there's something about the power of three coming together to celebrate. Speaking your truth, communication. Four of Wands, that's divine sacred union. Yeah, that's something to celebrate. Divine sacred union, the flame, the twin flame, the soul mate. Trust your guidance. There's stability coming into your life. There's something to celebrate. Maybe perhaps you're going to get married because this is the Four of Wands, 11-11, new beginnings. This is wedding celebration, expansion, communication with the birds, communication coming in about this union. Finding your own stability by leaving the battle and trusting your intuition and going after what you love. Allowing your abundance to come to you. And here's the Queen of Swords. Here's that truth, that clarity. See, that's what's coming in. That's what's being unlocked from the universe. Pay attention to your dreams, your meditations, your, the signs, the synchronicities. Wisdom is being unlocked. The universe is giving you the clarity you need to move forward and move out of the battle and move towards your destiny and move towards this union. It could be a feminine figure coming in of some kind of authority. This could be the justice system, right? A judge, uh, a lawyer, a mediator, someone helping to balance the scales. But trust your own truth and wisdom because things are being unlocked within you. Pretty incredible things unlocked about this union. So, wow. It's a powerful time. Look at that temperance. Things are being balanced. This is finding the balance within your own energies, within your body, releasing what's not serving you. You know, shedding the old, letting go uh, of, the, you know, the past, the pain, finally releasing, finding that balance. And to me, you know, my guides know this is a twin flame soulmate recognition. So what I feel like the universe is telling you is you are moving closer to union. You're moving closer to these new beginnings and finding the balance and being able to communicate in a more balanced, loving, unconditional place. Like there's love, communication of love coming in to help you balance out. Someone very loving, yeah, because it's time. This is choices, decisions, the two of wands. It's just time to decide. The universe says time to decide. Like what do you want to do? Do you want to stay where you're at? Do you want to stay in the fear? Do you want to stay in the battle? Or do you want to trust us that the universe has your back, leading you towards your destiny, leading you towards divine sacred union, stability, balance? But the decision is always yours. And look at the bottom. Wow, advice for you is to decide. Complete certain cycles in your life because the world is literally yours. So there's something completing that is necessary for you to complete in order to bring this communication in, in order to bring this union together for these new beginnings. So ask yourself, who, what do I need to let go of? What cycle, what karmic cycle is completing so that I can have these new beginnings? And it's really up for you, to you to decide to complete these. You know, nobody can do that. You have free will, but your clarity is coming in. Open yourself up to the love. Follow your abundance. Allow, you know, opportunities to come to you. Be open to them. Be open to communication. Celebrate how far you've come. 
Find your own stability and strength within yourself. Balance your own energies. Reach out to a healer. Whatever it is that you need to do, go outside, exercise, take care of your physical body. But it's time to decide what's best for you. It's time to complete a certain cycle in your life that feels like it's been going on for quite some time, perhaps lifetimes. It's a major karmic cycle ending for these new beginnings. So trust yourself, trust your guidance on this. So we're going to clean up this part here. Okay, the final set of messages here for in separation, no communication. This is going to be possible future energies coming through pretty soon here. Future energies, future manifestations that are possible for this union, for the person that you're thinking of. Lead the way. Yeah, like I felt, you have to be, you be the leader. You lead the way. Show others how it's done. You can help others by being the best version of yourself, by stepping into your power, living your best life, shining that light. That's how you do it. You have to lead the way. See, another adds up to a three. Expansion, growth, communication. Lead the way. Very connected to the animal world. Very connected to Mother Earth. There's a lot of birds here. So there is a lots of things that need to be communicated. So find your peace. Find your balance. And you lead the way. Perhaps you're the one that's going to communicate. Follow your guidance on that. But look at all those birds. I mean, there's a lot of communication. You're getting a lot of messages from the spirit realm, from Mother Earth, from nature, from animals. So pay attention. The ocean behind is your emotions, you know, connecting to your emotions, finding the balance. But there's a lot of communication that's going to be coming through. You be the leader in how to communicate now because you can change things by you being different. Lead the way compassionate, unconditional, loving communication. Lead the way. You've got everything you need. You've got what it takes. Step into your power and move forward on your destined path. Possible future manifestations, please. Highest and best. What can we expect, Spirit, in this, in this um, next few months, they're saying. Especially with the three. Letting go of the anxiety. There may be a little of anxiety still, kind of lingering. Want, wanting to end this, not sneaking around, wanting to make it public. Like, I can't stand it anymore. I just want to be with you. Clearing the headspace. This is the communication that will help expand and end the cycles. So, some kind of communication. To help alleviate the anxiety. <laughs> Let the old die. It's a death. It's a death of the old ways. It's death, right? That's a little bright. Let's see if I can. Maybe. I don't know if that will help at all. Probably not. Okay. But there's a death of the old. And this is what's dying. This anxiety, the toxic thoughts, the non-communication, the miscommunication, the uncomfortable, you know, erratic communication. <laughs> That's what's ending. So there has to be, you have to let go of something in order for something new to come in. So the old has to be let go of. And you have leading the way on this and allowing this rebirth will help the union. Yeah, because then you get the six of pentacles. As soon as you let the old die and you bring yourself into balance and you be the leader and you take charge of your life and live your best life. You know, nine is an independent number. Be independent. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Help yourself grow. I'm going to see if I switch this off if that helps for a minute. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just seems like super, either way, it seems a little off, but let's just do this for a minute and see what happens. It's a little dark, but it was just such a glare. But Six of Pentacles is a gift coming in from the past, something coming in, uh, money coming in, something happening, but there's a masculine that wants to come back through the door, been through the battle, but doesn't want this anymore. Yeah, I do feel like there's going to be communication in the physical world. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a partner who will put in the effort. There's that rose. Remember we saw the rose in the, mask, in the mouth of the lion, the masculine, wanting to offer the rose. So I do feel like there is going to be some kind of offer, some kind of opportunity to communicate in the material world. That's what's being manifested. See, Eight 
manifesting it into the physical. The masculine, I believe, is the one that's going to communicate. Is working on that. Yeah, look at that, leaving the battle. I'm working on leaving the battle. I want to communicate that I've left the battle. I don't want the drama. I don't want the BS. I don't want to fight. I don't want to be in toxic situations anymore. I want to leave that all behind. I'm lighting my flame. I'm lighting my fire so that I can leave this past relationship behind, this toxicity behind. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. So ending that, so future energies is walking away from the drama and walking back through the door to make this solid grounded offer. Yeah, look, there's the rose again. I'm telling you, there's something about flowers, something about a rose. Maybe um, there was a right, white rose. This sort of looks reddish pink, and this one looks red. Something about a rose, but there is going to be an offer coming out of the stalemate because two of swords is a stalemate, but not here. It's like the masculine. I, I, that's what I feel. The masculine is going to come forward. So feminines, are you open and receptive? It looks like you are being a little coy, right? I'll smell your flower. I'll touch your leg. I'm going to flirt with you. But I'm going to make you, you know, work a little bit for it. And which is perfectly fine because the masculine likes to work a little bit for it. They don't want it to be super easy, you know. So there is an opportunity for this three of cups that we just saw to come together. Enjoy time together. I mean, really, truly the connection that you have is pretty incredible and the masculine does think about it when you're thinking about it feminine the masculine thinks about it wanting to let this old energy die so to really enjoy and celebrate being together it's a little chunky but we'll take this king of cups so the king of cups has that you know we had the queen of cups being open the um this is that cup of love the masculine filling their cup and wanting to offer it this masculine could have tendencies of not really saying what they feel and they're working on that because they know that's important but you know could have been emotionally manipulating in the past you know being quiet. Remember we saw the queen, the king of swords in the earlier, like not saying anything, but now the masculine's ready to show. And the masculine shows their affection, you see? Like shows it physically. Maybe doesn't say all the words that we want to hear, but shows it. Do you see that? Like I'm showing you. I'm, I'm, I love you. I'm caressing you. I have my cup. I want to share it with you. I'm coming back in the door for you. I'm offering you this rose. I'm making you this offer. Look, the rose, it's like I'm putting, I will put in the effort. So the masculine wants to put in the effort. That is definitely a message of love coming in. The communication is of love. I'm a little obsessed with you. I just want to be with you so bad. You're manifesting one another and I did feel the energy of the masculine working to gain his independence and sometimes it's hard because the energy of the feminine is so strong and the connection is so strong that they get a little caught up in fantasy land thinking about it like just wanting to be there wanting to cut away the dead ends of the relationship let the old die for this new fresh energy new fresh life and feminines I'm telling you just by you being you and shining that beautiful light you are manifesting this incredibly sexy, successful, financially independent masculine. See? Eight to the nine. On the right path. Wow. And you get another nine. So we have nine, nine, nine on the board right now. So there's a lot of endings, a lot of spiritual growth, but this is wish fulfillment. This is the message. This is the message of love. You're my wish fulfillment. I want to be with you. Can't you hear me? Don't you believe me now? Please listen to me. Because I want to be with you. You're my wish fulfillment. So there, there is an opportunity for communication here. Like really, truly. For these new beginnings. Look. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. I want the new beginnings. I want to share this cup. It's all about the cup. It's all about you filling your cup and being open to it and receptive. And while they work on filling theirs. And then you come together for this beautiful resurgence of the union that you once were in. These new beginnings, a romance of a lifetime. This can be someone new coming in. You know, you're in separation. You're feeling them energetically. You know they're out there. You know that, that, that you're meant to have this great love. And here they come, past life from the past, coming back to the door to offer this love for this. This is the cup. See, this is the cup that the king is offering. Like, I want to be with you. I, I, I 
want to be with you. I want these new beginnings. And at the bottom of the deck is the high priestess. So trust, again, trust your intuition. Your intuition is on point. It is highlighted right now. You are growing spiritually. Trust yourself. Learn to trust yourself. Be playful with yourself. Have fun in life. Have fun with this information, all this new information. Cut away whatever not serving you, right? And just, you know, what's the next uh, book you want to write of your life? What do you want to be in it? It's up to you now, right? Trusting your guidance on this. You and only you know what's real for you and what you believe in, but it's up to you to fill your cup, find your independence, your freedom, growing spiritually and being good on your own. And that's how, that's when everything comes together. Be the leader, lead the way and lead the way in love because the answer is always love. It's always unconditional love. It always comes back to love, loving yourself and extending that lighthearted energy out to others and Things are transforming. Believe it. I'm here for you. I appreciate all the love and support on my channel. Please reach out to me for a personal reading or healing.